My ex-husband, Todd, is always constantly trying to save money. Every day, every hour, every minute. It's always on his mind. It's part of who he is. So here we have Todd Moriarty? Moriarty? Moron? Shaboyardi? Look, if I butcher your last name, bro, who cares? Anyway, so Todd's a cheapskate with a sprinkle of OCD. I feel like having a mix of those two characteristics makes you up to be a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. It's like having two scoops of pre-workout and about five cups of coffee alone. You're already a little crazy. Together, you're smoking crack. Legally. And you might not live. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately for his ex-wife, Todd is alive and well, and we get to witness a little of his crazy life. So say no more, sit back, relax, let's get it. So hold tight, in the initial thoughts, you didn't need to be his neighbor to know the dude has some issues in the head. I mean, you gotta be some kind of hella cheap to not even want to spend money to use the automatic garage. The dude even plastic wrap his interior car door handle. Why would you do that? And I love how TLC is playing this creepy vibe, I'm a serial killer behind closed doors kind of music. They are kings of editing exaggerations. And I love it. Jesus Christ. What are you allergic to dust, Todd? So apparently our buddy Todd here has a problem with the need of rapping and covering uh everything. And I mean everything. Why in the hell did you cover a cooler? It's a cooler, Todd. See, if I was his neighbor, I'd be kind of sketched out because from afar, it kind of looks like a meth lab. Say my name. Heisenberg. You're goddamn right. It's very important for me to keep everything covered with plastic because I want to try to keep that resale value uh, intact when I try to sell the house. So what are you trying to sell the cooler and the lawnmower with your house too or what? I'm confused. All right, all right, all righty. Welcome to my crib. This right here, boys, is the selling point of this house. Boom. Mint condition cooler. That's right. 10 out of 10. Factory OEM. You can brand it like new on a Craigslist ad. Never been touched by no man's hands. Wait a minute. Then how did the cooler get inside the garage? Look. That's not important, hey. Tell me another house that's doing it like us. Yo, this guy's kinda weird. Four years ago, locomotive engineer Todd Moriarty covered nearly his entire house in protective wrapping. Bruh. He's lived this way ever since. <laughs> That's pretty weird, not gonna lie. So we know our buddy Todd here lives by himself, right? I mean, how much mess can a dude really make in a two-story house? So Todd explains that he sees this house as some big investment. Ooh, but is it really worth it, my dude, when we're taking into consideration property tax, interest on the loan, inflation, hidden fees like water and electric bills? And we're not even talking about the realtor fee or the opportunity cost of your money or, or the potential house market downturn. I'll knock on wood for you, buddy. But nah, nah, let's, let's move into this two-story house and just uh, uh, saran wrap everything. Yeah. By sacrificing comfort for savings, Todd estimates he's able to save nearly 95% of his $90,000 annual salary. First off, that would be incorrect math because federal tax takes about a third of that. And second, we know he ain't broke. So why did Todd Moriarty wrap his steering wheel, his car seat, and his car door handle? You drive a Honda Civic? I just like saying that. With a busted up rim and a busted up front bumper. I don't think a polished steering wheel is really going to move the needle on the resale value, buddy. But hey, uh, do you? Well, right now, uh, I've got some uh, clothes. I don't have to put them in the washing machine. It actually kills the bacteria by having them in here. You dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> How so, Todd Moriarty? Did you even go to school, dude? If there's one thing that I learned in biology that wasn't mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, is that freezing doesn't kill bacteria, you dummy. Quick story. So way back before your boy was blessed and bopping around in ninth grade, I was on the verge of flunking biology. Yes, an Asian failing. Anywho, to pass the class, I just needed to uh, pass the final and uh, complete the extra credit assignment. Now passing the final was gonna be easy breezy considering I scored like a 50 on the midterm, but what was this extra credit assignment? Finding and labeling 15 different bugs. Easy enough, only problem was this was in uh, December. And if you know anything about bugs in the midst of winter, they're dead. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, that project was asinine. On the very morning that this project was due, I was still missing a homie. Your boy already had like the ants, the mosquito, the roly polies, you know, the common house pests. I had sprinkled sugar around, turned on every light. Hell, I even had bugs life playing in the background to build trust. For whatever reason, I decided to check our bird feeder outside that morning and lo and behold, a black beetle. Black beetles in the city be 
Now the assignment had some crazy requirement like find these boys alive in mint condition, frozen like homies jeans but in alcohol, and have them pinned to a styrofoam. Literally said on the grading rubric, you better not have one leg missing on any of these homies or you're failing the class you dumb Asian. I swear she was racist. Anyways, the only problem was this beetle uh, was dead for who knows how long and all that was left was his shell that could probably disintegrate at any moment. Somehow, someway, with the luck of about 10 leprechauns in the hands of a toddler, I was able to pin this beetle down to my styrofoam with his 14 other dead homies. I kid you not, the only thing missing was a uh, one of his legs. Homie's leg literally just fell off for no reason. I swear he was like flicking me off and then his legs just fell off. School was about to start in half an hour and your boy was desperate. I took some hair wax and I just <laughs> glued that bad boy on. Holla at your boy. Yeah, I passed that class with like a <laughs> 70. So it's if you're watching this, Miss Parker. I hated you. Okay, this is uh, a pair of jeans. I bought these 15 years ago, like brand new. Bruh. Yeah. It's like, I, it's like I just bought them. Yep, nothing weird about that. Just a nice whiff of uh, 15 years of bacteria straight to the brain. Now we know why he's a little... So Todd here starts trying to get his house appraised so that he could eventually potentially sell his house. And the appraisers find out very quickly that he's a... Uh... I live in a three bedroom, three bath house, but two of the bathrooms have never been used. And now you use this bathroom? Yeah, this is the only bathroom that I use. Oh, okay, because you're... You have your toilet wrapped. So what I'm really curious about is the whole having guest situation. Like, like everyone has to use that bathroom and sit on the same saran wrap toilet seat that he had on for who knows how long and who knows what kind of stains have been on there. Yes? Well, I just, again, I, I don't like stains. So this just helps protect everything. Okay. It's, uh, I change it uh, quite regularly. Uh, maybe once a year I change it. What? Ooh, what kind of butt cheeks have been on there? Dude is definitely OCD. He even has plastic sheets on the bathroom floor. Like this house is just a liability lawsuit waiting to happen. If you have slippery feet out the shower, good luck. This is your... Well, this is the master bedroom. And this is where you sleep? My bed is in here. Oh. <laughs> So Todd theoretically does stay in the master bedroom. He just eats, sleep, and change in the master closet. His logic, you ask? Save a couple bucks on a heater and the AC. And it's probably a good hiding spot in the case of a robbery. Yo, Bill, what is this place? I don't know, man, but I found a body in the closet. Let's get out of here. I, I just don't see the need of heating when I can just heat up a small closet with a little space heater. Gotta watch out oh, for uh, oh, oh, excuse I'm, me. Um, I'm yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude is straight tripping. Did you see the other appraiser? He's like, really, dude, really? I would hate to be a guest at his house. Dude would have to do a rundown of all his rules. Ever played the floor is lava? No, well, today's your lucky day. You're playing. Anything not covered in plastic is lava. You step on it, you get the fuck out of my house. You hear me? Dude. I think that uh, once I crunch some numbers together and everything, I might actually be able to give you what you're looking for. I think it's a beautiful home. He takes care of it impeccably. Yada, yada, yada. Yes, we know the house is very beautiful. Anyway, so the appraisers finally leave unscathed and Todd Moriarty is finally back to doing more weird stuff. There's no need for me to use the washing machine because it just costs too much money. I could just reuse the water right here. Not exactly sure why we're having shots of pepperoni nipples, but Todd informs the world that he likes to wash his clothes in a hot tub. Ironically, in the same place where he likes to heat his food. I think I wrote that right. I just put a little bit of soup in my uh, plastic container and uh, it, you'd be surprised at how quickly it heats up. What? Alrighty, <laughs> first off, I'm not exactly sure what kind of neighborhood this is, but whatever Todd likes to do with his hot tub, which seems to be a lot, looks like it's a free show for the uh, whole neighborhood. Do, 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 do. Holy fly squatter, mom, look, he's back at it. Because my hot tub's not gonna add any value to the house, I decided to use it for multi-purposes. It costs about $15 a month to take a 10 minute shower every day. And that adds up. What? Yo, what the hell is going on here? All right, let me get this straight. So this hot tub, right, is marinated with his dirty clothes, the meal that he's cooking that day, uh, whatever cookware that needs to be clean, and the uh, dookie off his booty. Awesome, we discovered the origin of AIDS. Yo, I don't know what kind of new crack you smoking, dog, but you need to go get drug tested. Today. By using my hot tub, I would say I'm saving about 30 to $40 a month. This hot tub, I mean, it, this thing is a money saver. I mean, this is like a cash cow for me. I think it's a stroke of genius myself. Honestly, I'm not even exactly sure why I'm surprised at this. I bet you this lunatic didn't want to get his sink or bathtub all scratched up. Thus, he's resorting to this madness. But it does explain a lot why his wife left him. 
I think my cheap ways had an effect on Stephanie because she probably felt my mind was always thinking about money. It was very hard to live like that and to have nothing. I'm sorry. Man, I saw somebody wrote, Girl, don't cry, you're free now. Hell no, nah, if I was her, I'd be crying too. You best believe if I had to suffer living with this dude, I'm gonna ride it out until he sells that house and then cash me that divorce check. Money. All I really wanna see is the money. I don't really need a D, I need the money. But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping soap. <laughs>